Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. This is... Remember that in the presence of greatness, yeah, but, but, but he didn't... He, yes. he, 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 he shocked... What he shocked me with, uh, Engin, was... He was actually very, very good technically. You've got to give credit where it's due, and the guy pulled that match really, really intelligently and really technically shot the shit out of him. I did not expect that Levan would be able to maintain his hand and wrist in the way that he did. Okay, he told us, we, we did the interview with him, you know, when we talked, John, Devon and I were talking, if you can go watch and say that Devon claimed that he gave his own wrist, Levan. It wasn't the case, you know. We, we can asked ask him. him. We can ask him. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, asked him. No, no, we him. already asked him. He said that, you know, he, the reason that he lost the, his wrist against Levan, uh, Lalatin, he said that he wanted to try the side pressure. Not not the back pressure. He didn't want to go like hammer to hammer with him. He wanted to go with the side pressure, and then he kind of lost his wrist, and then he hit from outside for yes. back pressure versus back pressure, and then he beat him. And then once he started to do this right away from the beginning in other rounds, so he, he found a way to go easy. And I, I am not sure. I, I am not sure if I totally agree. He would know himself better that you know he he wanted to do another super match. Because his endurance was so great, or is it because he had an easy match with him? You know, do you understand what I'm saying? He didn't mm. have chance to taste, t- test his endurance against Lalatin because it was too much for him, except the first start. Yeah. yeah. So I am just yeah. saying that the endurance that he needs against Michael is not the endurance that he is talking about after Lalatin match. No. The endurance within the match that the match stops is totally different thing than pulling. Many matches. And you know, also, one after, look, yeah. with the greatest of respect to Vitaly Lalatin, who I love, he's one of my favourite arm wrestlers walking, yeah. um, but he has got a wheelhouse, and he's strong in that wheelhouse and not outside of it. Mm-hmm. He's got, yeah. he's got yeah. an area of strength, which yeah. is a, uh, it's a golden arrow, and it usually hits the target. It's very, very tough. But he's not got anywhere near that well-roundedness. I actually think mm-hmm. uh, Lavan is more well-rounded in terms of his capabilities. Yes, 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 for sure. You know, I, I, I think Oops, I what fascinates me it. about Jerry and Michael, and the other guy that I'm, I'm going to come on to, I want to come on to with Lavan, uh, would be his countryman, uh, Gennady. Because I think Gennady Quickvenia is extremely well-rounded, extremely explosive, He's got a lot of things that are really dangerous, and I wanted well, to he ask... he has more experience with Levin than anybody. Yes, but I wanted to ask Levin's opinion of how, because he trains with him, how strong Gennady is right now. And no, how they don't train together. We asked him. He said they don't train together. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah but you can ask him again, you know. You can ask him again. Well, you don't need to. It, it, at the end of the day, how does But, but maybe, 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 he, maybe he Gennady will do? Yeah. Uh, Le- Levin. Ты сейчас с Геннадием когда-то поборолся где последний год назад или как-то так? Нет, нет. Нет? Не было шанса, да? Ну, у него, не знаю, сейчас он говорит, что он вылечили эту травму, но у него была очень серьезная травма. Ага, Ну, на левой вообще, так, думаю, что без шанса он... Уже так вот, у него серьезная травма на левой, на правой тоже у него очень серьезная травма после Молдовы, где он... Я да помню, я помню, да, да, да. Курдыча, да. А, когда он боролся в <coughs> Чехии, у него, ну, даже я удивился, как он хорошо поборолся, потому что у него была серьезная, серьезная травма, он говорит, что он вылечил, но это... Не было правды, потому что я да, видел да, его. Да, да. Все видели. Да, да, ну, это не, не, не был да, тот Геннад, который мы знаем. Вообще, борьба с Геннадой и наша с ними там борьба на Евро, чемпионат Европы и мира, для меня это было очень хорошо, потому что э, я выучил, как бороться с ним. Ну, вообще, когда я с ним боролся, я выучил армрестлинг, uh, потому uh-huh. что он... На- наказал борис... тебя каждый раз, если что-то... Да, да. 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 я... Ну, все мои, как это сказать, слабые места находили, выигрывал меня. И борьба с ним для меня была очень хорошая, потому что 
Uh, если бы не он, я, я бы не был таким сильным uh, опытным, как сейчас. Uh -huh. Потому что он многосторонний uh, борец и борется до конца и вообще в любой ситуации, в любой технике. Так что... Окей. Uh, Gennady is uh, recovering from his trauma on the right arm that he got in Moldova when he was armless in Kurdecha. He said when he was facing Chafee, he was injured. He said he was fine, but everyone saw he was injured, but still he put up a great match. Mm. Uh, they, they haven't armless more than a year now, and uh, he said with left arm he feels like there's no chance. With right arm, he says he feels he's not 100% recovered, so... He will not speak about it at all. But he said uh, what Gennady teached him, every time they arm wrestled, was like punishing him for every mistake. He said, I wouldn't be as great arm wrestler without Gennady. Because he knew me better than anyone. He can go in any position. He never yeah. stops and he yeah. goes to war every time. Yeah, Gennady is very, very well-rounded. Extremely well-rounded and extremely fast. Maybe the, 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 you know, the most well-rounded Eastern European. He's certainly... Uh, extremely good. How does uh, Levan think he's going to do in the World Arm Wrestling League? Is it, does he have high hopes for him? Ты знаешь, что он переходит на WL, да? Да, знаю. Я с ним говорил. Он говорит, что он будет бороться с Стеваном. Ну, я ему сказал, что очень специфично. Ну, там правила по все. Да, по другому. Если не будет так, как, например, Гаспарине произошло, потому что мы здесь, европейцы, привыкли другому, да, да. действовать другому правилу. А там, знаешь, как практически судья вообще не существует. И... Да, да. Леван, окей. Ты где-то... Левен? Maybe you translate while he's gone. Yeah, locked up. Go for it, Ray. Oh, there you go. Еще раз, ты пропал где-то чуть-чуть, 30 секунд. Да, ну, где я остановился? Как ты думаешь, шанс ему есть? Какие шансы? Ну, знаешь, он такой борец, может, для него это и лучше. Такой, ну, в таких правилах бороться. Ага, хорошо. Okay, so uh, he said he has talked with him on phone. He knows that uh, Devon Laren is somewhere on the horizon right there. Uh, he said, of course, the biggest problem would be transferring from one, one rule set to another. He said Gasparini was a great example. Uh, but he believes that uh, this kind of rule set, this kind of environment could really let uh, Gennady shine because he said mm -hmm. if he comes prepared, he goes to war every time. And Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a warrior. Sure. Interesting. Quick question for him, and um, I'd just like to know, because a lot of people have put this question to us, has, obviously on your recent show, on Neutral Ground, with yourself and, and, and Engin and, and Giannis, Loman spoke about his aspiration to not lose uh, a round, to not lose a pin, which is admirable, um, and, and it's great to have those high aspirations. What I wanted to understand was, let's say that he achieves that, and he goes completely undefeated in the professional arm wrestling league and in the top eight, would he then consider himself to be the very best, the number one in the world? Or does he feel, and would he like to, does he have aspirations to go and seek out other challenges? Would he then look to face uh, the likes of Michael, the likes of Gennady again, uh, the likes of Jerry, uh, the likes of potentially Travis Bajan, who's spoken a lot about Levan? Um, or Devon Lara, you know, who does, do, does he feel like he needs to face those guys, and would he want to face those guys, or does he, would he consider himself the best at that point? I, I think he, he said that he wants to be those three guys that I named, Michael, Dave, and uh, Dennis, and, and... So he wants to face those regardless them. before he... Yeah, you know, can, I, can I ask you something? You said that, you know, if, if he goes to pile and do all those, you know, he planned... And would he consider to come to Wild and then pull these guys? Like, Not necessarily also... World Arm Wrestling League, anyway. But, 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 but that is how you mentioned, okay, this is what I was going to say. Well, are you going to ask the same to Michael and Jerry the same? 
Yeah, but they I'm continue asking having that. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, do you also think that you know they should after you know getting the hammer two times, three times, would they also consider and go and pulling those guys as well? Or do you, do you, how do you think that they, how do you think that they could be? I just want to understand that from Levan first, just to see what his aspirations are. Uh, Levan, вот, uh, например, ты выиграл топ-8, ты сделал все, как ты хочешь, не знаю, там, 2-3 uh, uh-huh. лета спустя, вот, uh, n- никогда не проиграл раунд, сделал все, что ты хочешь, да? Uh, ты, ты думаешь, что тебе еще надо доказывать кому-то, и вот, например, ты никогда не боролся с Майклом, например, никогда с uh, Джерри или, ну, кто-то из США, кто, который, ну, вот, не, не можно бороться. Ты думаешь, uh-huh. что тебе надо пойти там, И, или не, не туда, или просто надо бориться с ними, чтобы ты стал лучшим. Ну, самый лучший, как сказать-то. Ну, я так скажу, если я сейчас э, выиграю э, э, Циклинкова и э, Чехи, я думаю, что вопросов вообще не будет. А так, э, чтобы я переходил в вал, чтобы... Не, ну не, не вал, а просто, просто вот, ну вот, как ты считаешь, тебе еще надо доказывать, или э, Чефи и Денис будет, э, вот? Ну, я думаю, что Чефи и Денис будет это такая, уже для всех понятно. Ну, конечно, многие будут еще говорить, uh-huh. но потом, после идеи Чефи и, и Цыпленкова, думаю, что сто процентов будет Майкл. С ним буду бороться, потому что уже как бы других вариантов не остается. И это будет, ну, сто процентов Майкл. А так я не думаю, что я буду переходить. Э, э, не, ну не, не переходите, просто... Да, просто, ну, ну да, да, я да. думаю, что они будут... Э, переходить в то позже, чтобы бороться со мной, потому что, ну, когда ты первый номер, тебе не надо ни с кем... Никуда идти. Да, никуда идти, да. Тебя и ходят, да. Да. Окей. So he said that uh, when he when he beats Dave and he beats Dennis, he feels like there's no conversation. And he said he he believes that he will face Michael next after that. He believes that match should happen, and that would be the only tough challenge in his opinion. But he said, like, he will feel like number one when he beats Dennis and Dave. Interesting. What does he does he does he consider the likes of, for example, Jerry to potentially be a threat? Does he uh, consider that that, that uh, Gennady could potentially be a threat? What, what's his feelings, exam- for example, about a larger beefed up Devon Larratt or even Travis Pagan? Mm-hmm. Because I know <laughs> Travis has talked about him openly and Travis said he's extremely confident that he beat Levant. Because Travis is irrelevant. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. You can't, <laughs> Travis has done nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can't live off okay. what you did 10 years ago. Travis shouldn't even be in the conversation. But I understand <laughs> that you know he gets views and shit, so whatever. Okay, uh, Levan... Uh... Не спросить тебя, вот а, как ты думаешь, что вот, ты считаешь, что вот а, тоже, а, я не могу найти слово, трет, ну, как сказать, а, Джерри, например, там, Геннадий, mm-hmm. вот, хорошее mm-hmm. состояние, Девон, Трэвис, mm-hmm. ты, ты думаешь, они тоже могут а, пойти к тебе и а, делать визов, как сказать? Конечно. Конечно, просто на этом этапе я думаю, что эти три спортсмена, это э, Чефи, Цепников и Майкл Тот, сейчас на сегодняшний день mm-hmm. сами сильны. Ну, у меня такое мнение. Я думаю, что многих такое мнение. Конечно... Остальным э... надо, может, доказать себе перед этом, как номер, как номер, номер один, и под, ну или ну, номер два. И под... Если посмотреть сейчас Геннадий, долго не выступал, тот же Тревиса тоже не Тревис. да. да, Джерри тоже очень так не часто раз. выступает. Да. Ну, я очень часто выступаю сейчас, и <coughs> ну, можно сказать, что и Цепленков, он не выступает часто, но ну, ну, это меня... Это, друг, это другой, другой yeah. человек вообще, да, Денис это вообще другой. Окей, okay. uh, he said, 
like those three names still. Those three names that he said at the beginning. Those are the big ones. Chief, uh, Michael, and Dennis. Yeah. Everyone else, of course. But he said, like, uh, they need to prove themselves a little bit. You know, they need to... Uh, it, it, he said, like, Travis hasn't been so active. Gennady has been uh, not so active. He has seen uh, uh, Jerry Armisling once or twice, but he believes that, like... If, if he beats those guys, you know, he's number one. And number one shouldn't just arm wrestle anyone. He just needs to arm wrestle contenders, you know. And number one, number two contenders are... Uh, I'm going to ask... In Jerry's yes, defense, it's very easy to underestimate how strong he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because um, some of the matches you see him have, like, that match shouldn't be able to pin Jerry. You know what I'm saying? There's just a few matches you'll see Jerry, and he doesn't look as good. But once he sets his spot, that is the most difficult dude to get out of that damn position. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I've told everybody. So, it's really easy to underestimate the power that he has if he gets his spot. Now, I've seen people keep him from getting that spot, and then it doesn't look as difficult. I, unfortunately, cannot do that. Um, but I see a lot of people. I mean, I, once Jerry gets set, one of the strongest men on the planet. I do have two questions for Levin and one for Pope. First question, how, what does he weigh right now? Uh, сколько тебе вес сейчас? 163 килограмм. 163? 163 килограмм, да. Окей. How is travel in Georgia right now? What's their travel bans? Uh, как, вот, когда вот этот COVID, да, вы можете выехать из страны или как вам, или всем надо сидеть, друзья? Не, не можно, да? Сейчас нет, нет, нет. Окей, но, но, но. Думаю, что скоро уже откроют, потому что у нас сейчас хорошая ситуация. Ну да, да, я смотрел вам и нам тут. Ну, но если откроет, откроет вот страны, которые вам соседи, да? Ну вот. Не, не думаю, что соседи знают, не думаю. А. Скоро уже откроют. Ага. So he said. По соседству, соседству у нас очень плохая ситуация и в Армении, в Азербайджане, в Турции, в России тоже очень плохо все сейчас. А, тогда может перелетов больше будет, да? Где ситуация нормальная, да? Где ситуация... Я надеюсь, что в декабре все наладится и ничего проблем не будет на матчах. So he said uh, travel is limited right now. Not limited, but basically impossible. Uh, situation in Georgia is very good. Like I have looked at the stats, it's similar to what Latvia has. Yep. Uh, but he said like uh, it should be lifted some time very soon uh, to go to different countries that have good situation, uh, yep. which is stated by their government. So if government sure. says this country is okay, you can go there. But uh, he said not neighboring countries; they have little more, much more cases than they have. And he said. Uh, Uh, in December, he hopes that everything should be good and he should be able to travel wherever, you know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Now, here comes a proposal. So, obviously, I believe our match should happen at some point. But in the meantime, if he ever needs a sparring session, I'm just a plane right away. <laughs> Get me a sponsor, fly me over. We'll do a best first one to win 100 matches. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. That hurts. Yeah. Леван, Леван, Майкл, Майкл скажет, если тебе надо партнер спарринга и все откроется, да, просто звони, он перелетит с тебя и можно делать 100 матчей сразу без 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 камеры, без всем, ну чтобы, ну просто. Ну, с Майклом не хочу. Даже спарринг не хочешь, да? Ну лучше. Да, конечно, он более опытный, чем я, и он много чего научится, потом поедет в Америку, потренируется и играет меня. He said he, he doesn't he, he doesn't want to, he thanks for the offer but he doesn't want. He says you're a very smart arm so you will come, uh, you will make him tired and then you will go back home, understand what he did and come back and beat him again. No, no thank you. <laughs> It was worth a shot. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I got I got another I got another question for Levan here. Who does Levan believe has the most potential? of any super heavyweight in the world right now to become a threat to the elite level? Is it someone who is within that elite level, i.e., is it Vitaly Lalatin? 
or is it someone who is on the climb? We spoke to a very exciting athlete the other day, Alex Kodetcha, who's a giant. You know, is there someone else that, that uh, his, who, basically who is on his radar? Does he consider there is someone that he's got his eye on? Thinking, that guy's the, the one i got to watch. Who's his biggest threat out there? Uh, you guys. Хорошо, хорошо. Ну просто, кто ты думаешь сейчас на те же ловеса, да, может стать самый сильный и большая проблема для тебя и для других? Вот кто ты видишь, как кто-то все время станет лучше, лучше, лучше на те же ловеса, мы говорим. Плюс 110, плюс 110. Однозначно это Виталий Лалепин. Виталий Лалепин. Да. Ну, Куртеча очень э, хороший талант, но парень, но ну, думаю, что э, не, не тот уровень, что Виталий. Угу. Больше, ну, потенци... это... Больше потенциала у Виталика, да? Да, и по потенциалу технически, и, э, ну, как Армбрестл, конечно, Виталий намного выше стоит сейчас, чем Алекс. Угу. Uh, думаю, что Виталий через, может через год прийти и быть просто нереально сильным, может через два года, но он, ну, мы с ним, <coughs> мы оба, как это сказать, одно это, мне тоже 31, ему тоже 30 или 31 год, uh -huh. так что... Не, я думаю, что ну, мы сейчас молодые, чем вот, тот же Керри, mm -hmm. тот же Майкл, они легенды этого спорта, ну как-то вот для меня это сейчас так их оценивать так нелого, потому что когда я начинал смотреть на, на их, они были моими кумиром, я сейчас оцениваю их силы и возможности, так-то не очень это как-то нелого себя чувствую. Но. Думаю, что, ну, конечно, Виталий самый такой ну, тяжеловес, который может стать намного сильнее и прибавить очень много. Uh -huh. So uh, he said Vitaly should be that one. Vitaly can uh, still add a lot, and in a year or two he can be a big threat to anyone. He yeah. said uh, he, the technique is there. Uh, he needs power, he will gain that power in a time and he will be a real threat to anyone. He said he's the same age as me and that might be the problem because we're basically at the same time. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, he believes it can happen. Kurdecha is very good, Kurdecha uh, has improved, but he believes the, the, the potential that Vitaly has is uh, much, much bigger than anyone on the planet right now for heavyweights on the rise. And, and, and to sort of build on that, Lavan, I know you understand what I'm saying here, mate. In your heart, uh, 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 do you believe? Do you believe that you face? Sorry, Lavan. What I said about them, if you can translate, so they can also do it. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, he said, of course, he, he, he looks up and he believes that uh, Jerry and Michael are also a threat, but they've been here for a long time and they, yes, they've been yes. threats for a longer yeah, time. I you agree. Know? Yeah, yeah. That was the nature of the question, really, because, I mean, with the greatest of respect to all the guys on the call, Michael and Jerry were talking guys who've been arm wrestling for 30 years, so the increments that they're going to advance, you think, would be lower. So there's two parts to that question. No, the first part, to follow on from that, is do you believe in your heart, Levan? And I want you to answer this candidly. Do you think that you have already faced the toughest possible opponent out there right now, including Siplenkov? Do you believe right now that Vitaly Lalatin is actually the number one? I know you haven't faced Dennis yet. You haven't faced Dave yet. Do you think they're as dangerous as Vitaly Lalatin? Ты думаешь, что вот Виталик сильнее, чем Денис, сильнее, чем Дэйв? Ну просто ты или ты считаешь, они еще другой уровень, чем Виталик? Ну, как я думаю, они я так думаю, что они другой уровень. Я так готов, что они другой уровень. Может, оказывается, что они, это не так, но ну, при uh -huh. подготовке я так 
Лучше думать, что они сильнее. Ну, не Денис точно сильнее, потому что, ну... Денис, да. Да, потому что Денис. Потому что Денис, да. Окей, so he said, uh, he doesn't know, but he, in his mind, he believes that they are stronger. When he's, you're preparing for those matches, he believes mm. it's easier to think that they are stronger than the guy that you faced last. Maybe he will arm them and feel differently. Uh, but he says uh, he believes that Dennis is stronger just because Dennis, you know. Stronger, more dangerous. Ну, я я еще скажу, что Виталий очень неудобный, очень сильный, но он не силач. Ребята, ну, Денис и Чефи тот же, Майкл, они силачи, у них другая сила физическая. Может. Не такая неудобная рука, как у Виталия, потому что у Виталия очень длинная рука, и у него очень большой плюс это. Но думаю, что эти ребята намного сильнее физически, чем Виталий. Uh -huh. uh, he said he thinks that Vitaly might be more uncomfortable with his hand because he's very tall and, the, and everything else is Technical, much yeah. yeah but he, he doesn't believe he's such a powerhouse that uh, is Chafee and, and Dennis, Dennis. Yeah. no I agree yeah. Neil I want to ask to uh, Levan uh, Levan uh, when was the last time you were in Gennady pool Gennady was it 2000, uh, 2018 Europeans in Bulgaria was it uh, 2018, before, before WAF, 2018 in Turkey, and then I think 2018 Europeans in Bulgaria. Not, not, not Turkey, not to, to No, 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 before Turkey, Bulgaria, Europeans. Yes. Europeans, yes. Bulgaria? Uh, Bulgaria? I be, uh, which uh, country is... Uh, Bulgaria, Bulgaria, 2018, you did final in a hook, yes, I, I was yes, there. Yes. yes, yes, and you beat him, I, right there, you yes, beat him. Yes, two, two times, yes. Yeah, you beat him. And and has has Gennady ever have a win ever you know against Denis Triplenko? Uh, has Gen uh, has Gennady ever beat uh, Triplenko? Gennady, когда когда-то выиграл Дениса? Нет. Нет. No. No. Yeah, right. And one more question: from the time that you pulled Gennady in Europeans in Bulgaria till and today is your shape, how much difference? From 2018 European Championships in Bulgaria and your shape today? Oh, <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. That's a what lot. I wanted to yeah. So, your, your match against Dennis would mean a lot. Yeah, okay. Yes, if I was on the same level, I would have been in the same way. Because when I was in Europe and in the world, и сейчас я сейчас практически другой человек. So he said if he was in the same shape that he was in 2018 Europeans, he would norm as Dennis. He would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was nothing I can put against him. Even 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 Laletin would beat him in the dead shape versus Laletin in the top eight final. I think Laletin would beat him in 2018 European shape. How far can you go, Levan? In terms of, you've spoken that you, you you've spoken about your progression in answer to Engin's questions. So, you believe that you increased by 20 percent, and obviously you've just said that you were a lot stronger than 2018 uh, EAF uh, WAF season. Do you believe there is still a lot of room for growth, for improvement in you? And if so, is it strength? Is it technique? Is it a combination of the two? Is it experience? Do you feel do you feel you've still got a great deal of room to to grow, or do you feel right now represents the the absolute peak of your career, mate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> так грани своего возможности, ну я так хочу, что я еще много могу прибавить, может быть и что, ну не знаю, ну 
Очень много могу, потому что когда я смотрю сейчас на, на себя, ну, через, может, два года, может, 50 или много, на много процентов я прибавлю, ну, если, конечно, <coughs> здоровье будет. So uh, he said a lot of people think he has peaked, like uh, they say, they will say he's at his peak right now. But he said like he's he's getting stronger every time. Every time he feels like uh, uh, the, the number he showed at me, he said maybe 50% stronger. He said maybe. No, I mean. no, я так скажу. Сейчас мне 31. Вот спросите Майкла Тодо, когда он он был моего возраста и сейчас, как ну. Uh, he, he, on, on, he's asking to Michael, so he's 31 right now, and he said, when, when you were 31, do you feel you were stronger than you are now? Yeah. Ah, good question. Good question. <laughs> Very good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would, 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 would 31 years old Michael beat uh, this Michael? No, no way. <laughs> Thirty-one year old Michael would walk around and carry all my bags for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what that's what Levin, Levin says. The health is important. If he's healthy, he feels like the, the limits are not there. To be fair, though, to be fair, let's just make a, a, a let's get a a level head on here for a second. Thirty-one year old Michael did not weigh a hundred and sixty-three kilos. You have all. Thirty-one year old Michael was not that physically evolved. That motherfucker can't get that much bigger. And if he does, I need to see that shit. And I will wear a t-shirt. Because I swear to God, if you get that much bigger, Lavan, you are, there is no doubt you will be invincible. Because <laughs> his wrists are already ridiculous. <laughs> Если посмотреть на всех арт-рестлеров, все как-то после 35 до 45, вот, вот так, они в лучшей форме. Uh -huh. Okay, he said he do, he doesn't believe or or he doesn't think he will gain that much weight. That's not him. He, he but he believes he will get stronger. He said if you look at the, some of the top arm wrestlers from 35 to 45, that's their peak. Yeah, true. 30, 40, between 30, 40. Particularly the bigger men. Particularly yeah. the bigger men. Like heavyweight boxing, isn't it, in that respect? Right, we're finishing on a high note. Cause Jerry I got a quick question for Jerry real quick before we go any okay. further. I know we got short on time. Jerry, in a perfect world, no contracts, and outside of me, who would you want to arm wrestle? Outside of you? Yeah, I mean, I know I'm the guy you want to arm wrestle. So if you take me out of the equation, anybody in the world, who would you want to arm wrestle? I'd love I hope to hear the answers with the question I was going to go suppose, but go for it. I would, I would say that I'm going to, I want to go against whoever's ranked number one. I'd want that spot. Right. So, um, I feel like uh, both you and I have a good shot against Levan, right? Because he's not used to either one of our styles, right? I think sure, that. Sure. Um, he would need a ton of endurance to be able to hang with you. I think he's got the strength, but you take that away from people, right? So I think that that's going to be an awesome match to watch, the two of you, because there's no question how strong he is, right? It's just a matter of you, you've competed against the strongest people, and I know because I put a shit ton of pressure on you. And uh, I think match with Levon, I think, is, is going to be unique, too, because – I think I'm faster than him, and I think that I get into my position easier with him, and he doesn't have the endurance that you have. I mean, if you get your position, and if you take him this side in a losing position, you put your shoulder behind, it will be very hard match for him. Either he overpower you, or he's gonna have big trouble, you know, because I don't think that, I don't think that anyone in this world can do your movement as effective, as powerful as you do. You are the best at your move in the, yeah, in the history, in my opinion. I so agree. I don't think that anyone ever has faced someone like you, Jerry. So either he just takes you out of your shoulder and then overpower you, or if the match gets, you know, longer, I think that, you know, it will be uh, trouble. But only if you have 
close power to you know him. Well, let's be honest, Jerry. You're the guy also that, and I mean this. I mean, I love you, brother, but but you're you're not the most committed dude in the world. Sometimes you're the guy that has other things. You know, you get in, indulged in your family life. I mean, you know, you got a lot of kids knocking around. I mean, look at you think your ears would be longer than they are, but you know, you you get distracted. You're working man, all of these things. But on occasion, when you show up committed. You're a handful. Can, can I say that. one more thing, Neil? This yeah. guy, Dennis, Dennis Siplenko, I listen, like being strong and being, uh, like, I don't know, to carry your 100% of your power to the table, transfer it, totally different thing, you understand? Yeah. I, I, I believe that, you know, I don't think that, you know, uh, Levan will be much, much, much stronger than how he is now. But I believe he will more transfer to the table, more transfer to the table. Like, look at Denis Siplenko. He was, he has already, always been, you know, strong. But more he carried, more he transferred to the table, more effective he became. This, this Who's is a what better I arm wrestler, Engin? Denis yes, Siplenko yes, yes. or, or Levan? Oh, Levan, of course, Levan. Of course. Levan came hook, Levan came side pressure. Shoulder press, top roll, he can do everything for a super that's, weight. That's the he's point also that very, making, mate. That's very, very fast guy, very fast guy. You know, he's just quick. You know, he's moving like a 75 kilo guy at the table. Not only at the table, you know, he pulls with Laletin, he goes on the podium to the end and comes, you know, he's just like, you know, he's just like flying, you know, the guy. You don't think that, you know, a person who is like over 150 kilo would move that quick. Yeah, uh, that's that's yeah. that's where I was going with the question yeah. about where he saw where Levan saw his progression, because I think Levan is, you know, it, it would be very very wrong to assume that Levan is just about power, uh, yeah. and I was yeah. also interested in Levan's comments about Vitali Lalatin and how strong he was, um, yeah. whether it's more awkward or whether it's more strong, and right now I, I was very keen to to hear his feedback that he thinks it's more about the fact that he's awkward. And based on the back of that, Levan, who wins a match, Jerry Cataret or Vitali Lalatin? Who have you got? <laughs> 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 I don't know. We're going to get out of the way that just, just, remember, just remember Jerry's match with Michael. Just remember, you know, the Michael who has wins against Pushkar at least rounds. Oh, you win 6-0. And then he, the style, no, isn't it, this is what I am saying that, you know, like Jerry can cause problems to Michael, to Everyone, you know, and then just I I just say that you know don't underestimate Jerry. That this guy is more dangerous than what we think. What do you think? How do you think, Levan? Who who will win, Vitalik or Jerry? No, no, no idea. He said no idea. If he have a hundred a hundred dollars in his pocket, where's he gonna put it? Если тебе сто баксов, то кому ты поставишь? No. Я бы поставил больше на Виталика, но я так думаю, что если э, Джерри успеет э, сделать свое движение и остановить э, старт Виталика, то тогда у Виталика будет очень большие проблемы. He said uh, he he would put more money on Vitali, but uh, if Jerry uh, does his start quicker, gets in position, that's a big yeah. problem for Vitali. Yes. Yes. He's got another hundred dollars. From the money that he won when when Vitali smacks the shit out of Jerry. You're out of your fucking mind. I actually think Jerry's got a great shot Jerry, тогда я бы, ну, намного так уверен бы сказал, что будет, но я с Jerry не знаком лично, только по видео его видели. He said that uh, he, if he had opportunity to arm wrestle Jerry, he would have more insights about those matches, Vitali versus Jerry, and then he would say, uh, but but he has only seen Jerry on videos, you know, and that's that's all insight he has, and he has arm wrestle Vitali, and that's that's why he's sticking with you. That. Understood. I, I think that's a great match. I really really love that match. But from the winnings that he gets, he's got another hundred dollars to put. <laughs> 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 mate, Jerry, mate, I, 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 I actually like you in that match. I think you've got a great shot. <laughs> 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 
Я знаю, что тогда думаю, что большие проблемы будут у Виталика. If he has endurance, Jerry will cause a lot of problems for Vitalik, but uh, he, he will, he's just going with Vitalik, yeah. If I have oh. endurance, holy shit, every match. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think that running machine is for? <laughs> <laughs> I could have went the dust off of it. Yeah. <laughs> so with these other hundred dollars, he can bet it on. Okay, okay, one second, one second. Let, let, me, let me say this. That hundred dollars is the hundred dollar I gave Neil to give Levan, not not the the money okay. that you know. La Letty, yeah, okay. you know, versus Chill, Jerry. Jerry. Chill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fine. Fine. I like Engin. The Bank of Engin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just don't okay. make him angry, you know. And don't he can stop. he can bet on Devin Larratt or Gennady Kuzminia. Where's he put oh, it? Oh, good luck. Oh, good question. Five rounds, World Arm Wrestling League, Devon right, versus... Right arm, right arm. Right arm. Right arm. Правая right рука, right Devon или Genia, как ты думаешь? Сейчас. Mm. Через, через, например, шесть месяцев. Да? Ну, я бы поставил на Геннаде. И по дружбе, и так, так верится мне, что он может его выиграть. He said uh, he would put money on on Gennady because he's his countryman and uh, yes, friend. So yes, yeah. score. He's a very nationalistic guy. What score, Leva? Какой результат? Как score? На пять раундов да. Ну, может три два, вот так. Three two. Yeah. Okay. okay. I know you uh, uh, you got real quick, Neil. Is uh, to Levin. Thank you for being on this call with us. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy seeing you. And I look forward to our match so that one day I can have our poster, me and you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Great. a pleasure and honor well, of mine. So, uh, I look time's up you beautifully, uh, Michael. Let's come here. Michael, what do you want to win? Michael, what do you want to win? <laughs> he said, he said, no. Michael, just wait, I will beat you, and then we will put, put another picture. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> funny you should say that, because of the winnings that he just made on the next Devon match, he's got a $200 bet that he can place, and he has to get the score right, and it can be over six rounds, and it's between Levon Saganashvili and Michael Todd. What's the score, Levon? Какой результат, если ты с Майклом? 6-0. 6-0, да? <laughs> если ты боролся с Майклом... Если ты боролся с Майклом, 6 раундов, какой результат? Ну, ты... конечно, 6-0. It's, 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 it's nothing against Michael. He, he has goals, just, you know. It's not Michael. Yeah. It's his goals. Michael Todd. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll at least win one. <laughs> it's not going to be 6-0. <laughs> yeah. 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 He said, he, he already said that he wouldn't want to lose a round, and now he cannot even say that he would uh, no, it's, politically yeah. lose a round. Yeah, come on, guys. Come hey, on. Jerry, is, is that your car behind here? Uh, yeah, the one I'm willing to put, I beat him. Engin, uh, have you not yeah. paid your electri electricity bill, Engin? What the fuck is up to the light where you are, dude? <laughs> I, 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 I'm at the dark side from now. Uh, yeah, you're not kidding, mate. You've gone all <laughs> mysterious. Listen, listen, you the enigma. Neil. I didn't know you were that mysterious. He loaned you. Remember? What's that? He loaned you the hundred, Neil. Remember? Oh, God, that's yeah, what yeah. yeah. Oh, that is why, you know, yeah, that is why I get short. <laughs> Neil, uh, I and, I and, uh, Raymond, uh, we need to do an interview with Arif Ertem now. And, I think, and, and Levan needs to eat. Yeah, yeah Levan needs to eat. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm hungry. Uh, I, I know, I know starting, uh, training. Oh, <laughs> better okay. train hard. Get it, okay. get it on it straight away. For, for Michael Todd. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Le Le Levan, one more question, Levan. If if I invite you, buy your tickets and Iraqli, would you visit us this summer for training? Uh, I don't know. Actually, you don't, I don't know. know. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
It's because Mike because we, will, we, will try to, we will try to figure out, you know, like your weaknesses yeah. and we will tell to Michael Todd how to beat you. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yeah, that is it's a uh, very nice car I, I like but uh, yeah. it is uh, it is very small for me <laughs> <laughs> I can only drive it with the top down right, right. hey Jerry I have a question for you how much Jerry weigh how, how much you weigh now 335 would you bet that car against the one Jerry yeah oh the one I have I have nicer ones in the driveway. I'd bet them, too. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. Lavan, did you hear that, Lavan? Did you understand that? No, no, no. no. He, he, он сказал, он будет поставить на эти машины. Ему еще машины стоят нам, нам там по, на паркинге. Еще лучше, он сказал. И он поставит на ваш матч, если, если вам будет матч, эти машины. That sounds mm. like a YouTube match to me. Скажи, чтобы... Скажи, может, чтобы поставить на меня, и я это устрою ему, чтобы он играл. What did he say? How far? Не-не-не, это машины Джерри. Он скажет, если вам будет матч с Джеррием, он поставит машины. Если ты выиграешь твои? Ну, тогда, ну, я так люблю машины, тогда у него не будет шанса. He said he loves cars so much that you won't have a chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought you were going to translate this. I would even break his arm for that car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, I'm serious. I'm right yeah, Jerry ain't joking. He ain't playing around. He's oh, no, no, no. no. The best Listen. Shit. Oh, Levin, Levin oh, thought he would put his like cars him. on the line. He, he oh, said he whoa, would whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. Jerry, did you hear that? Yeah. What do you say? He said he'll put his car against your car in a bet. He's got, yeah, yeah. He does yeah, have what, a nice eight-stage. Like, oh, in the presence of greatness, and we're finishing off as fast as the fucking furious. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know the car is. Yeah. What's his car? What kind of car do you have? I have a Hummer H2 and a BMW X5. Just BMW X5 and uh, Hammer H2. Oh, lovely darts. The new oh. Audi. The new Escalade. Oh. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Which one do you want to pick? <laughs> he said your cars, look, your cars are more expensive than his, but it's a, uh, it's he will take them anyway. <laughs> it's just a matter of which one he wants to try to win that he can't win. Ooh. <laughs> you heard it, though. We need to set this. We need to set up this one. We need to set Okay, okay. Istanbul is a neutral ground. We have a garage here. No <laughs> camera. No, no, no camera. No camera. And just you just come. I am the referee. You know, oh, whoever, oh, oh, whoever oh, sees the oh, oh. side, you know, so I will just let him a little bit, you know, start with the advantage. It's okay. Yeah. Depending who will, who will let the uh, engine drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whew. Michael, before we head this thing up, mate, what's the result? Yourself versus Lever. You guys pull. Don't say 4 2, just say 6 0. I'm going to be well. very optimistic and I'm going to say I win 4 2. Or two and six so ladies and gents i hope you've enjoyed this episode of in the presence of greatness it's actually going to be cut into two episodes but uh just before somebody's eaten alive by a pack of rabbit dogs <laughs> they're out on the street we're going to bring this to a conclusion i want to say a massive thank you to our special guest tonight levan sagan really top dark mate thank you for coming on the thank show you, thank you really really appreciate it before you leave us give us one more front forearm flex dude just Indian keep them surgery. close to each other. Close, close, close. Look Elbows that. close. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Man, that's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Jerry Cataret for coming on the show tonight. Jerry, that's a great bet, mate, and I hope you uh, you guys can make it happen. I want to thank Monster, Michael Todd, for coming on the show. Mike, thanks, brother. Yes, sir. I want to thank Enigma of Rage, Hanging Terzi, for one more time joining us and only freezing up once. And I want to say a massive special thank you to Raymond Lipinch for coming on. Raymond, if you're a star, brother, thank you very much. Guys, if you like what you do here on In the Presence of Greatness, please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, and remember, always be careful.